Right, I've been, um, been stuck at home now myself for seven weeks thereabouts or stuck within the vicinity for whatever reason, for personal reasons or coronavirus or whatever. Um, these last few days I've been absolutely bored out of my face. Um, the only thing that's kept me going is this um, camp out for the NHS, Great British camp out for the NHS. Um, so every weekend we've been camping out which has been fun but besides that not a lot, not a lot at all. So um, I've been seeing one or two of these these twirl pictures on the internet so I thought I'd have a go. Um, done one or two of my own and I thought I'd go over how I, um, I processed a couple of my images so um, or at least one of them anyway. So let's get, we'll get Photoshop open. Um, and we'll have a look. Right, so images. So what I'll do is open the image that I want. Let's show the image, one of the images that I've done. So we're going to try and replicate this image. Um, so let's we'll get rid of that. I've opened it up in Photoshop. And the first thing I'll do is duplicate it. So I'll right click on the on the um, on the image on this right hand side here and I'll duplicate the layer. And now I'll, I'll do that again. Uh, where are we? Oh, right top. Okay, so we've done that. Um, take the anchor off that one, pick the first layer, and the first thing we do is go up into filters. Um, pixelate and uh, what was it on mesotint? Now here, it's at the bottom. Here it's got fine dots. We don't want fine dots. We want short lines. And click OK. That's the first step done. We we'll go back to filters. We we'll go to blur radial blur now in here just got to change something to zoom and um, the amount we want to go 100 press ok this is where it starts already starting to get the zoom now if we pick click filters again the last last step we did is in the top so radial filter again and it'll do it again we'll do this three three or four times and it starts to smooth it out Okay, one thing I forgot to do, but it won't matter on this. If we right click on this, we want to make this a, um, a smart object. So right click on the image there, the one we're working on, and make it into a smart object. Now, now the reason why that's a smart object, we can now work on that way out uh, and go back and do whatever. So the next step is filters. Distort, twirl. Right, now we'll, we'll go plus 50, 50 here, yeah? and we'll just give it twirl. Right, first one done. Now we're going to go filters, twirl again, but we're going to go minus 50. Or thereabouts. Um, minus 50. Right, now then, on each step, we're going to go down to the smart object and where we've done the first twirl. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click on that. And we're going to select the blend option. Now, this blend option is going to be uh, lighten. Okay, and then press OK. And then we're going to do the same with the next one blend option. So it's starting to take shape of the colours and everything. So this this is starting to look really nice already. Um, so we'll do another twirl. So we'll click twirl again. And we're going to go plus 100, I think. Twirl. And then we'll 
We'll right click on that, that one that we've just done. We'll blend option. And we'll uh, lighten again. And we'll do it once more. And again, we'll do it the opposite. So it'll be, if that was minus 100, we'll go plus 100. Okay. Blend option. So there's three main processes that you do. Um, and then in between that is the, is the one or two bits. Oh, sorry, I've done the wrong blend there. Let me just undo that. I've done overlay. It's like, there you go. Uh, like I say, some images work, some don't. But the main thing is, is that that twirl effect that we're going for. So I'm just going to do one more image, or we're just going to create a twirl. Forget, forget blending it with all, all the other stuff, we're just going to create a twirl. So we want something with loads of um, colouring. We'll pick another lighthouse one. So I'm going to pick my lighthouse, I'm going to drag it over to the right hand side, which will create another layer. So, um, smart object. So we're creating a smart object. We're going to filters. We're going to Pixelate and Mezzi Tint. It's already set to short lines. Make sure it's set to short lines. Press OK. Back to filters. Blur. Radial blur. Make sure it's on zoom. And go. And then if we put radial blur again, because it's already selected at the top, go. Radial blur, make sure your radial blur is at 100 as well. I'm going to do one more, I think. Do as many as you like, there is. Okay, so that, that's, that's that step sorted. Next step, we're going to go do the twirling. So we're going to uh, distort, twirl. It's set it just over 100, set it about 100, twirl. We're going to right click on that and blend. That's right quick click on the twirl layer and then blend. We're going to select lighten. Okay. And then we're going to do another twirl, but we're going to do it at minus 100. 102. And we're going to Right click on the twirl layer again, blend option. And we're going to lighten again. How cool is that? Now what we're going to do is do another layer of twirl. I think I'm going to go, because of how the shape's creating here, I think I'm going to go around the 300 let's just see what it's like never done all like that 300 so we'll blend that one and i'm really just messing now so just creating now there we go and then obviously i'm going to do it opposite again so we'll go to 12 it's minus 300 so we're going to drag it to plus 300 and that'll just give it that Um, equal, oh, it's almost like a painting. So we're going to do that. Uh, lighten, and that's what it's created, which I really like. Now I've done all that on one layer. Yeah. If I wanted to then add something in front of it, I would. I'd have made two, two or three layers. So what if I if you haven't done that, what you could do is go back onto your picture, I think it's that one, drag it over the picture. And there's the picture there. Just press the return button. Now I've got a layer. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the the uh, lighthouse again. So we'll go to selection and we'll go focus area and see what it selects. Right, we can change the range on that, by the way. 
Okay, my dad. Okay, don't like that. So we'll go select focus area. Let's have a look. We'll just tap that. I'm going to be able to work with that. We'll just soften the edge. And okay, so we'll copy that. We'll make a layer, we'll paste it. So we've just copied and pasted the lighthouse. We're gonna do it again. So I've got two layers of that, paste. So I've got a spare layer as well. Um, we'll get rid of the, the lighthouse, the full lighthouse, which is give, will give us that. <laughs> now that, I like. Look at that. It just shows you, just on a different image first time. So I'm gonna, um, just move the large house slightly because it needs to be in the middle there. Come on. Don't like this bit down the bottom. So if we add a layer mask, go to the brush tool and we'll get rid of it. Ah, cool. Is that? Now then, what we've got to do, we've got to go around these edges. What we should have done was really select a better selection. But I want it to fade, I want it to fade in, I want it to look like it's part of the image. If I go really tight, just to get rid of that line. Get rid of that line. We're a bit too much. I'll be a bit too much. We'll, we'll get it back. Oops, a daisy. I don't want the lines to be sharp. I want it to blend in. Like I say, if you go for a big brush, it'll blend in better. Like that. Don't like this part, so I'm going to crop that out. So if we crop, change the crop. Oh, we'll crop that out. Select that crop, we'll crop that out, or will be. Um, now I might just change the colour of the background again, or the colour of the photo I think. So what we'll do is, we'll go to adjustment layer, colour balance, or just have a little tweak with the colours. Let's see. I do, I do a lot of the colours as they are to manage it. We'll just have a little tweak. Um, now, I might just put a, a vignette on it. Oh. But, Put a vignette on it, there's two ways I can do it. I can right click on any of the layers and flatten image, or I can create a, another layer. Go to Edit Fill, Fill Black, unless you want a vignette, white vignette. So that's filled in black. Then add a layer mask. And big brush, 
Well, I'll point it out. Okay. And yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to emerge the layers, flatten image. Right, one image now, that's the one image. So I'm going to go to filters, um, camera raw file, and we can just adjust it, the exposure, contrast. Which I really like. Um, texture from smooth. I'll tell you what I might do. Oh, clarity, sorry. I might take the clarity down because I look quite like it's smoother. But bring the texture. Of the light house up. So a rush on that just to bring that out. We can change the colour a little bit. Uh, okay, that's that'll do that. And the only other thing I might do, what I want to do, we'll try it. So I'm gonna duplicate that layer. We'll zoom in and what I'm gonna do, that's a very big brush. I'm going to probably just dodge and burn slightly. So we're going to, I'm just going to burn down this edge here, just to, as if we're creating sort of a slight shadow around the light house. That's the mid turns. Right. We're just giving it that little bit of. Just brings. Let's have a look at that. Just brings the um, the lighthouse out that little bit. The only thing I think it's probably a little bit. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to burn that a little bit more. It's a bit like, a bit like that. I mean that that pattern there is absolutely superb, and created another image. Um, I'm really pleased with that. I didn't think I didn't expect that to turn out like that. So uh, top draw. Okay, guys. So um, that's the image I've created with that one. That's the other similar image I've done with the lighthouse again. So. I think it's just as important to um, pit the subject as much as uh, to the creation. The actual creation of the, the twirls are quite easy. Um, if you want to add a, a subject to it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But um, there you go. There's a little bit of digital art, wires board, um, self-isolated. Okay, guys, till next time, catch you soon. Thank you.